Alan Stern for CenterNetworks.com. Today is Sunday, September 9th, and we're going to take a look at the brand new Windows Live Translator Beta. Um, when you first load up the site, which is available at translator.live.com, you come to two windows and you can enter in text. Um, gives you a bunch of different choices. English to French, German, Spanish, Italian, Japanese, Chinese, simplified and traditional, and then the reverse of everything. So I would, I'm thinking we'll start with English to German, <coughs> because German is a language that I'm currently learning, and because I have a nifty German phrase a day calendar. So the first thing we'll do is start with something very simple and say, I am Alan, welcome to my website center networks. Click Submit. Ich bin Alan. Willkommen zu meiner Website Center Networks. Okay, so that seemed to work. Now there's a button here that says Computer Related Content. What the hell does that mean? Does it mean if I'm talking about a computer or does that mean I pasted something in from a computer? I don't know. I have no idea what that button does. <laughs> okay, let's let's try something with a computer. Uh, I, uh, I would like to buy a computer with 300 megabytes of RAM and a one gig processor. Let's try that. We'll click computer related content. We get some German back. Actually, it looks pretty good. Yeah, actually, it looks pretty good. Now let's try without the computer related content checkbox. And it changed. I don't know. I don't know what that means, but whatever. Um, but let's just try a couple of the other phrases. These come from my German phrase a day calendar that I have. Do you accept traveler's checks? Let's see. Name and Z. Okay, so the translation on Windows Live Translator is a little bit different than what my um, German phrase a day comes up with. By the way, today is Grandparents Day in the United States, so. If you have grandparents, go say hi. All right, let's try one more. Did you book your trip online? Let's try that one. Did you book your trip online? Now, I don't know if the word online would mean a computer-related content or not, but we'll try it without it and see. Let's see. No, that's nothing like what this says. Did you book your trip online? It says, haben Sie Ihre Reise Uber's Internet gebucht? This says, meld the 10 Z era Riza online on. Well, <laughs> that ain't the same either. All right, now let's try it the other way, which is basically to go in and, and translate a web page. So, of course, we'll go ahead and translate our web page, which is centernetworks.com. What's really interesting about this translation is that it actually brings back the site in two panes, making it a little hard to read both panes. Um, the one thing that frustrates me here is when I scroll in this window, the other window doesn't move. So I have to first, let's say, I want to go to, I don't know, the third story. I have to first scroll down over here. Right, so you have to first move over to the right. So we'll find video review, paparazzi, property search engine. Now we have to go scroll down here, then move this over. And, you know, you can highlight, what's really cool is, of course, you can highlight the text. So. But again, it, it doesn't, it's not over to the right enough. So here you can see, and I can't move the mouse because if I do the highlight, it'll come off. But as you can see on the left, in the English, it highlights is a worldwide property search engine, period. On the right, it highlights blah, 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 but it cuts it off. So you really need a very large monitor for this. I don't know who at Windows created it. Maybe, um, maybe whoever created it has a 40 inch monitor, but here on my 19 inch monitor, it uh, the windows are very small, so um, you can do, you can change it around and do top bottom, which I guess would help, but again, you have to scroll one and then scroll the other. I, there's gotta be a way so that it scrolls together. That would be kick ass. Um, so now here's the original with um, translations on the fly. So if we highlight this, we get conversation with the Tilzy.tv team, and then we get Gesprach mit der Tilzy TV Mannschaft. So that's pretty cool. So you can move around the web page and highlight it. 
Um, in fact, this would be a great way to have a little button on your browser that just automatically pops this into place. That'd be pretty neat also. And then you can translate with the German with hovering over to English. So you can either browse in German, hovering to English, English, hovering to German, top and bottom, German and English, or left and right, German and English. And that's pretty much about it. Um, we can go back to the original page. So now we're bringing up the original page in German. And that's pretty much about it, I guess. Uh, that's the Windows Live Translator. And again, it's available at translator.start.com. And this has been Alan Stern for centernetworks.com.